How do falling slinkies and bonded gauge blocks disprove Newton and Einstein's gravity? In a falling slinky, the bottom floats while the top is falling from gravity. The bottom slinky has mass, and so Newtonians expect it to fall at the same time as the top slinky. Physics explains that it takes time for the information to reach the bottom slinky, as if the bottom slinky was alive to know information. Then there's a finite time for that information about the change to get to the bottom of the slinky. A lot of people on the internet get uncomfortable with the term information. I mean, what are we saying by information it's in a, a physics signal. sense? It's a signal. Cartesian physics explains that space particles are pressing on all parts of the slinky, with more pressing from the top. The tension fights the downward space particles, causing a balance. As this tension is removed, the space particles at the very top start to overcome the lower space particles in a sequential motion, like a liquid. This levitation manifests as reverse gravity as seen in gecko feet and gauge blocks that negate the downward pushing force by matching the surface of the ceiling or the other gauge block. Thanks for watching! Please like the video so we'll make more of it or dislike it so we'll make less. Subscribe or share a video to let us focus on that topic.